I posted a video about what I do with my brass in the off season. Since that video, I've had several emails asking what do I do with my brass between firings. Well, let me show you. Welcome to Connect the Dots. I just got done checking the tune on my light varmint rifle and I think I fired 22, 23 rounds, something like that. So what I want to do is I want to take five of those rounds and I want to show you what I'd do with that brass before I reload it again. More importantly, I want to give you the reasons of why I'm doing this. And if any of these reasons fit your procedures, fit your philosophy, maybe you can add this to your steps. The first thing I do is I'm going to clean the case next. I use a product called Never Dull, but any brass polish is going to work. You simply take a small section of it and clean the necks. The reason I'm doing this is because each case has a sign curve wave on it out of carbon. And I simply don't want that inside my neck. More importantly, I don't want it inside my neck bushing. Over time, that could change how much neck tension I'm putting on that bullet. So I'm gonna clean this off using a rag, and you'll see how much actually gets off of there. And again, this is just five cases. I'm gonna do all 22, 23, whatever I shot, but that was just from five cases. I don't want that inside my neck bushing. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nylon brush and I'm simply going to clean the inside of the neck. If there's any type of carbon buildup, if there's anything, any chunks of stuff left over, it's going to knock those off. Just like carbon buildup or crud on the outside of the neck can influence neck tension, so can not crud on the inside. The third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the case. Now this is actually part of the resizing or reloading process. But I need to do this to knock the primers out so that I can get to my last step. So I'll go through this really quick. Uh, one little trick, when you're putting the case loop on, you don't need to get a whole lot on the neck. More the shoulder and the body. Let me wipe that lube off. Again, I'm only showing you five cases. Just try and speed this up a little bit. And what that did is that opened up the primer pocket so that I can clean the primer pockets out. And I got... The reason I want to clean these primer pockets out is I want to ensure that the primer is sitting at the same depth inside the pocket each time. Primer pockets out. And I got a little primer pocket brush here. I'm going to do it over this white towel so that you can see how much actually comes out. Again, this is only five cases. There you go. You can see all that powder residue right there that came out of the primer pockets of just five cases. This brass is now ready to be reloaded and fired. So question, do I need to do all those steps? Do I need to clean the case next? Do I need to clean out the primer pockets? And honestly, for short range bench rest and hunting, probably not. There are many bigger pieces of the puzzle. You, know, you got good bullets, good barrels, tuning, conditioning, reading, your mental approach. All those things, I think, are huge pieces of the puzzle. But also, I think you can't overlook the small pieces. They also make up that picture. The reason I do those steps, number one, the logic is sound. The reasons make sense to me. Number two, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. I can do those steps pretty quickly. Number three, I've had success doing it. 
you know, when things are working, you don't need to change a whole lot. And the last thing, it's simply a peace of mind. I know that I have controlled everything that I can control. If you like those reasons, if, if the logic makes sense to you, maybe you can add a few of those steps to your own procedure. Until next time, enjoy the experience.